Hello, dear friends. How are you? I hope you all are good. Now, in today's, so see here, as you know, from uh, 29 October, our preparation uh, started. Okay. And on 30 October, your first paper, round first paper. So that we are uh, going to head uh, uh, within two topics, solid state and hello alkane and hello ring. Okay, your CBC board preparation here, it will start with uh, your CET and uh, need JW also preparation also started. Okay, so I, I hope you are doing well in that and uh, what you will get definitely success. Okay, so all the very best for your preparation, uh, whatever you are doing, uh, CBC, NEET, JEE, okay, NATA, BRC, okay. So see here, uh, we will discuss here, so whatever we took here, first two topics for our round one chemistry. So solid state, hello, tension, hello, ring, okay. So here, in round one, so whatever our, uh, which most important points you have to focus, okay. So that we are going to discuss here. Okay, so see, uh, we will take first whatever our solid state. Okay, so pay attention on that. Whatever I am saying, important, important things regarding these topics. Okay, so see here. First, we will discuss uh, regarding your solid state. Okay, so but as you know, in this uh, solid state, so see, First, whatever important, that is general characteristics of solid state, okay. So see here, whatever general characteristics of solid state. So in that, uh, as you know, uh, there are uh, some basic properties of solid state you have to consider here, okay. So next, whatever amorphous and crystalline solids, okay. So here, amorphous and crystalline solids, amorphous and crystalline solid so these are also very much important part so whenever uh, we are seeing this video so at that time take your reference book as well as your NCIT in your hand okay so whatever I am uh, uh, dealing here which points that you have to focus on that points and do preparation accordingly okay so amorphous and crystalline so basic whatever terminologies or difference between amorphous and crystalline that you have to focus okay so in that again crystalline solid as you know better these things isotropy yes isotropy and what anisotropy okay so these also very much important you have to focus on this definition okay whatever properties of that isotropic and anisotropy okay so next Distinguish between crystalline and amorphous solid. Next word beta. Yes. Distinguish between. Distinguish between what? Crystalline. Crystalline. And amorphous. Yes. Amorphous solid. Distinguish between crystalline and amorphous solid. That also very very much important here. You have to go through that uh, distinguish whether it is short range order, long range order, okay, sharp melting point, uh, then what does not show sharp uh, melting point, definite melting point, many more in that, okay. Next, whatever the classification of crystalline solids, okay, so see here, in a classification, classification, yes, classification of what? crystalline solid okay so in class classification of crystalline solid you have to first dealing with whatever your molecular solids then that uh, molecular solid again divided into non-polar molecules and polar molecular solids okay so whatever chart they gave you there okay so whatever the chart means in that day chart they gave ionic solids also then metallic solids covalent okay or network solids so you also remove your uh, you you also write in one blank page whatever that chart okay you revise that chart means ionic compounds what it is there which type of bonding is there so some coulombic force of attractions also present okay with their examples also you have to keep in mind okay so these are what important terminologies here 
Next we will discuss here what are crystal lattice and unit cell. Okay. Crystal, yes, crystal lattice and what? Unit cells. Okay, so in unit cells also, whatever basic terminology you have to keep in mind. If you have any doubts, you can share immediately. Okay, so here we are taking what overview and you have to go depth into that and you have to what study accordingly. Okay, so next what whatever uh, after crystal light lattice and unit cell, possible unit cells in uh, two dimensional. Okay, they know whatever after this what primitive primitive and centered unit cells okay that also uh, very very much important okay so see here uh, we are dealing with what primitive unit cells primitive unit cells then what here centered unit cell centered unit cells primitive unit cell centered unit cell so as you know beta primitive unit cells what when particles present only on the corner position of unit cell okay that is what beta primitive unit cell and centered unit cell, unit cell means what when unit cell contains one or more constituent particles centered okay and there are again whatever centered unit cell having three types so which see here bcc fcc okay BCC, FCC and what? End centered unit cells. Okay. BCC, FCC. So after that, whatever uh, seven previous uh, lattices, that also you have to keep in mind. Okay. So as you know that uh, you can uh, you can uh, make like this chart beta. Say C, T, H. Okay. Or uh, you can, uh, you, you have to make like this chart. Say here C tor HMT. What beta? Yes. C tor HMT. Okay. C means what beta? Yes. Cubic. Okay. Then what? Tetragonal. What beta? Tetragonal. Then what? Orthorhombal. Or we can say what? Orthorhombic. Then what here? Rhombohedral. Okay, rhombohedral, then here what? Yes, hexagonal, what beta? Hexagonal, then here what? Yes, here what? Monoclinic, monoclinic and what? Triclinic, okay, <coughs> triclinic. So like that you can arrange, okay, where there are bond angles, Okay, then alpha is equal to beta is equal to 90, alpha beta is not equal to 90, then alpha is not equal to 90, beta is not equal to 90, okay, and gamma also. So like that you have to make chart accordingly, so it will come what? I uh, mean, sir, uh, it is very easy method to memorize this all seven, okay, whatever cubic, like uh, uh, we what, Sitor HMT, okay. So, uh, as you know, beta after uh, this all, whatever our primitive unit cells and uh, centered unit cells, we are dealing with what? Yes, number of atoms in unit cell. What beta? Yes, number of atoms in a unit cell. So, here, number of atoms in unit cell. So, as you know, uh, in simple cubic, simple cubic, how much one? In BCC, how much beta here? Yes, two. Then FCC, HCP, CCP, how much? Four. So this thing, whatever this thing, you must know here. Okay, so without that, uh, you can't go further. Okay, in solid state. So this number of unit cells, basic criteria. Okay, so after this here, Close pack structures also there in that uh, 2D dimension. Close packing in 1D, 2D and 3D dimensional. Okay. So thereafter what? Uh, how we can locate uh, octahedral voids, tetrahedral voids with their diagram. It is also important. Whatever uh, theoretical background you have to read thoroughly. And if any doubt will come, you can ask at the time of preparation. 
okay now one more here important part uh, whenever we are going to solve a uh, few numericals new okay simple simple numerical so see here the number of closed pack sphere the number of yes closed pack sphere the number of closed pack sphere b n what beta capital n then then the number of the number of octahedral voids the number of yes octahedral voids octahedral void generated generated is equal to what capital n and the number of tetrahedral void and the number of what beta yes tetrahedral voids what generated generated is equal to what beta 2n okay so this thing very much important thing here you must know number of octahedral void means only capital n and number of sphere closed pack sphere and number of tetrahedral void is what 2n means you have to what multiply by 2 here so accordingly here simple simple numericals also uh, present okay so uh, among these uh, we can solve here one so pay attention it is already present in your uh, ncid what in the ncid in text question also so see a compound on page number 16 a compound is formed by two elements x and y atoms of element y as an and mix cp and those of element x occupy all the octahedral voids so octahedral voids means what simply n so what will it will be your formula simply what x y so see their gave okay and one more here important beta uh, that example 1.2 atoms of element b form the cp lattice and those of atom a occupy two third two third of what tetrahedral void so two third of tetrahedral void means what multiply by two so what is this formula of compound formed by the elements a and b okay so see here a and b okay b atom of a occupy two third of the tetrahedral voids okay so two third okay so multiply by what two here because what tetrahedral void how much yes beta how much 2n so what will come here yes 2 into 4 so a4 b3 your count a4 b3 is what yes what is the ratio of this a4 and b3 so they gave here answer also understood so like that uh, on the base of this whatever number of octahedral voids n and number of tetrahedral voids 2 n like this simple simple numericals of two marks okay so pay attention on this also very very much uh, important here this all okay so see here whatever our next so in that formula of compound and number of void field okay so formula of compound is number of void fields okay so you have to take uh, these solved examples now one more important here what yes packing okay so what better here whatever packing yes packing efficiency yes better packing efficiency so see here in packing efficiency so you must know here regarding for your hcp ccp and fcc packing efficiency almost 74 percent so here you have to concentrate on whatever whatever i am saying here hcp ccp fcc how much 74 percent packing efficiency okay so uh, as many exams they will ask directly for three marks so whatever they gave in your ncid textbook okay so calculate packing efficiency for fcc hcp ccp so you have you must know whatever all that what how to calculate this okay with a radius and edge length so whatever all already uh, sir told 
about this uh, packing efficiency. So for CBC board exam, they can ask directly for three mark that calculation. Okay, calculate packing efficiency, HCP. Okay, then FCC. Then uh, as you know better here, packing efficiency. Okay, so see, packing efficiency in what? BCC, how much beta? Yes, yeah, 68 percent. How much? 68 percent. So, uh, for such type also, you will, uh, they will ask directly. Then what? Packing efficiency in what? SC. Okay. So, how much here beta? Okay, yes, 52.4 percent. Okay. So, this thing is what? Very, very much important here. Now, so this whatever packing efficiency in HCP, FCC, CCP. So here in all these, whatever all these packing efficiency, beta, okay. So you have to concentrate on, you have to concentrate on radius and edge length formula. Radius is what your R and uh, edge length is what A. So, a relation between radius and edge length in FCC, what? The relation between radius and edge length about BCC and SC is what? So, be careful whenever you are dealing with this all, whatever, uh, if they will ask for three marks, then on the basis of that, they will ask uh, what? Two marks question, numerical question also they will ask. So, you have to, means you have to, do your you have to make your notes short notes in terms of your fcc so at that time you have to calculate r is equal to what a is equal to what okay then you have to calculate for bcc also okay r is equal to what is the formula a is equal to means edge length is what then regarding r for sc also r is equal to how much a is equal to means radius and edge length means here two to three three types of question here means they will ask directly to uh, what how much packing efficiency of uh, bcc sc okay and they will ask what is the relationship between bcc what is the relationship between radius and edge length in bcc then you have to write simply what formula for this radius and edge length and they will ask what numerical also okay Understood. If radius you know, then edge length you have to calculate. Edge length you know, radius you have to calculate. So see, they gave in your NCIT exercise also such type of questions. Okay, and already I uh, gave uh, one uh, worksheet also on solid state. Okay. So these are what important things here. Now after this, see here, beta. After this, in your your solid state. Whatever calculation involves involving unit cell dimensions. Okay, so see here. Calculations. Yes, beta. Calculations. Very, very much important is also calculations involving, yes, unit cell dimensions. Okay, unit cells dimension. So as you know, this formula or D is equal to what? Z into M divided by what? A cube into any. Z is what? Beta number of unit cell. M is what? Molecular mass. A cube is what? Edge length. And N is what? Your avocado numbers have. So, here, what will happen? Here, simple funda is there. So, what? If you know among these five, four you know, and fifth, whatever uh, this uh, quantity you have to calculate, either density, either unit cell, either edge length. Either Avogadro number also, they will ask to calculate Avogadro number. Okay. They will ask to calculate. So generally what will happen, beta? Uh, they will ask to uh, calculate uh, molecular mass of silver. So definitely your answer, what will uh, silver atomic mass? Yes. Either uh, your answer, it will come like this. 107.8 grams per mole. Okay. Or sometimes 108. So like that also, simple, simple numerical uh, as okay so you can go through your uh, reference book also then first you have to concentrate on strictly ncrt 
so whenever uh, uh, you are watching this video you must have NCRT or any reference book first priority is always for your NCRT okay in that you we have to solve first your index exercise in test question then you go through exercise then you go for what your assertion reason type questions okay then what what your one word answer one uh, short answer the long answer okay two two marks then three marks okay so like that here if for you know among these five then fifth you can calculate easily okay so next whatever imperfections in solids okay so this is also what uh, very very much important here imperfections in solid okay imperfection in solid so in imperfection in solid beta here whatever they give all yes a line defects and point defects so we are continue with what point defects so point decay defect again categorized into stoichiometric defects and non stoichiometric defects okay so better way take one blank page and you have to you only you only you have to write your own t diagram here and uh, like that make so see here suppose here what stoichiometric defect so you have to make like this t diagram okay you have to make so what how much uh, there are types okay then uh, again uh, frankel defect scott key defect so you have to make and you have whatever uh, uh, important thing you have to write here okay so strictly you have to make this defect chart impurity in solid chart and uh, show it to me okay so this thing is very very much important here you have to make t diagram if possible but here if only you done t diagram then and then only here what possible to memorize all these defects effectively so uh, pay attention and uh, go through like this okay so one of the most important part here i am going to discussing okay that part okay that part is what whatever deleted syllabus in solid state what beta whatever deleted syllabus in solid state so in deleted syllabus so say deleted deleted syllabus okay so, so see here deleted syllabus what electrical and magnetical magnetic property electric and what magnetic properties okay then uh, second what band theory of metals band theory of metals okay then conductors conductors then what beta semiconductors semiconductors then what insulators and what insulators etc okay so here insulate after insulators very much important that is third a n and p type a n and p type what semiconductor a n and p type semiconductor so but they omit this part for cbc board exam only in your cet need whatever competitive exam it is there for competitive exam whatever this part it is there so you have to study this also okay only for cbc exam preparation you don't do this but for your uh, competitive exam you have to do and all these are what simpler here okay semiconductor conductors okay here electrical pro properties means of magnetic property ferromagnetic paramagnetic antiferromagnetism okay so here band theory valence band conduction band how they will depends on energy gap they will vary so this thing is what regarding your what solid state 
okay i hope you understood this all whatever we discuss here and you have to prepare strictly you have to prepare accordingly and if doubt will come then you can ask during your preparation time and maximum you do okay you are devoted study okay in that okay so if any doubt will come uh, you can share on whatsapp also thank you very much